Metapyra labyrinthia is a species that Mark Stowe collected down in, in Florida that my colleague collected, and we had been testing it in Boulder and here at the DMNS in Colorado. It was consistently building, so we shipped the spiders back down to Florida in preparation for the launch. We shipped six of them there, all in their own habitats, and we were going to choose the, the one that had the right stuff for, for flight. And when we got them down to Florida, they all of a sudden, all of them stopped building. Whereas we had another species that we were also testing called uh, um, Lorinioides patagiatus, another very pretty named spider, and it was continually building webs just as Metapyra had been. So my colleague Mark Stowe and I decided that we would hedge our bets and we would fly one Metapyra and we would fly a backup Lorinioides patagiatus in a little side cubbyhole chamber of the habitat. The protocol for the astronauts called for them to check the, ha the habitat after seven days and work with BioServe to decide whether the main spider, Metapyra, was still alive or if it had died in flight, we would release the backup uh, Lorinioides patagiatus. But as we were passing the habitat on to NASA and actually uh, it's called handoff, to hand it off to the NASA personnel to load into the payload boxes. We realized at that point that somehow the backup spider had escaped into the main chamber. So we had two spiders in the main chamber, two different species. And at that point, there was no way to backtrack. There was no way to stop the process once it had started, the handoff process. So we just sort of threw our hands up and said, well, we're working with live organisms, and you can never really predict what's going to go on with live organisms. So we have two spiders in the main habitat flying up there on the International Space Station now. Worst case scenario, we would have this gladiatorial combat and they'd kill each other. We didn't want that to happen. Or that they would get so perturbed by having two spiders in this small compartment, this small habitat, that they would perturb each other so much that neither one would build a web. Um, the best case scenario is that either one would eat the other and we'd end up with just one spider in the habitat, or that if miracles happen, they both build webs, and we would see some really interesting, maybe, interactions between the two, or at least we'd see two webs instead of the one that we were expecting. The photographs that we first started getting down to Earth showed a little habitat that was filled with random strands of silk. So it appeared as though the spiders were so disoriented by this micro habitat, by this microgravity environment, that either one or both of them were wandering through the chamber and just releasing random strands of silk. So there was no structure at all. But we just got photographs back down. The spiders have taken down a lot of those random strands of silk that were filling up the habitat and they have each built their own webs. So we have two very nice orb webs in the habitat right now on the International Space Station. So it's a, it's a very exciting progression. It means that the spiders are behaviorally able to adapt to this microgravity uh, environment and are able to build a relatively normal spider web.